this one I might just do like off screen sometime. As soon as I do end up finding time to go and fix this, I'll probably just do this. Uh, not tomorrow, but when I'm uh, when I'm doing the editing or shortening, whatever you want to call it, pretty much uh, of the videos, I'll just start throwing items from here into here kind of thing all onto the version that I'm actually going to be using. But I also have to go and change the lighting areas for this. At least I don't have to worry about the lighting nearly as much. But I want this to be like as close to what I had before. So if you don't know what I mean, uh, these corners are supposed to have light blocks there. All the way throughout, and even the top area over here, I believe, is also supposed to have light blocks. And as you can see, they're not there. Because these are all dark. So I think at some point, it got, cor uh, not corrupted, but uh, when I was trying to add the skulk to this area, I accidentally hit a button, or I accidentally replaced them. And so here's where we are, right? So there's that too. So I gotta go fix this stuff. As well. So hooray. So that's gonna be uh good to good to fix, I guess. Yep. Uh the other thing as well is that uh Like, as I said, I gotta go and, uh, yeah, so this is now empty and this is now empty. So now that would go, like, when I need to, let's say, uh, let's say I need to, let's say I'm going to move this to 1.22. Uh, let's say I can, like, hop in, grab the, the save data, which is going to be, like, over here kind of thing. It's in this pillar. If I remember correctly, there's one down here and there's one up there. Uh, I think I have them hidden for now, but yeah, they're in trap doors here. And then what I could do is I could save and load this anytime kind of thing. And I can, yeah, here we go. This one's a better way of showing it. So yeah, so you can see like I can, like that's one that I can do. I just got to actually either add an ability that allows you to like, interact with structure blocks in vanilla without using uh well, allows you to use like structure blocks in in survival kind of thing and that's it and probably hopefully that also makes them breakable in in a way Like, like, keep them as explosion proof, though, but you have to pick it, right? Like, you have to use your pickaxe to go break them. That's pretty much it. So, this is also emptied, as far as I'm aware of. If I do find stuff in here, uh, I can, like, immediately break them, kind of thing. Like, that, like, like, if I were to find, let's say, that there were items in this, uh, barrel... Yeah, like if I were to find this stuff kind of thing when we're in the next version kind of thing. I'm not going to say like, oh, I, I, I deserve to stop the series. That's that's not what's going to happen. What's more than likely going to happen is I'm going to go like, oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I'll just grab out all the items and throw them in lava kind of thing. Also, I found something else out too. Which makes me really, really confused. Maybe it's just because this is in a dimension, so it has its own region. I don't know. But one of the problems that I had beforehand... Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. So, these are the beehive things that I was messing around with. These were my 1.15 beehives. These are. These are fully legitimate vanilla ones. These ones I was experimenting with. If you can grab a full beehive, grab the NPT thing, and you can like drop it down and you can get the bees. You can. So when you go on to 
So when you go to, hang on a second. So if you go into this room, over down, uh, where was the room exactly? Ah, over here. So over here, I think it's like one of these barrels. I don't know which one it is. But I have my bees saved. So like the, that area doesn't need to be there anymore. But over here, I have my little bee storage, right? That's where my bees are stored. And I don't know exactly what it is, but for some odd reason, when I go, when I try to move it over, I crashed my game. I thought that was very strange. I'm like, why did my game crash? That's kind of weird. Uh, like, all I did was that I broke the barrel, grabbed the items in there, and left to go put them down there. I want to see which storage it actually is. Yeah, I'm going to start putting, like, some uh, some commands. So, they're like, while you're here kind of thing, it, uh, you have, like, speed and all that stuff kind of thing. But, obviously, you can toggle it on or off kind of thing. You don't have to toggle it on. Like, you don't have to have it on if you don't want it, right? Like, I think that would be pretty cool. I still left it open. Uh, it's not that one, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Uh oh, these are all the items. No, I don't think those are the items from the vent from the other area. Here we go. So in order for me to have done this, I had to literally. Grab all of this stuff and separate them into two things. So I moved my bees first, and then I moved these last. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can do it. See if the server can be able to handle it. Hang on, I'm gonna load up cube on the on the TV so I can actually see it. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do it. No, I'm not getting lagged out. Huh. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, oh, that was weird. Yeah, don't worry about that for now. Uh, because I still have my single player version, which has it in the exact spot that I like it. So it's going to be fine. And plus, I'm going to be putting down my bees somewhere because I really wanted to, I really want them onto the island. I think that, like, it would be really, really cool. The one thing that I am going to be doing that, that is going to be changing the island in, in a way is, like, I have several ideas that I wanted to do. And that uh, I kind of wanted to keep it a, a little bit away from the lore of the area. While also just putting in my own spin on things in terms of, like, Minecraft, right? Like, as you, as you know, like, I have these shipping containers over here, which, well, in the actual lore of the area, there is no such thing as shipping containers here. This just has a bunch of different mechanical stuff, like uh, a tool toolbox and stuff like that on the rollers. They Like, like it has all that kind of thing, right? So, the, like, the person who would normally be in this area would be able to move, not, well, he doesn't have a varicle, but he will be able to move varicle on here, do maintenance work, make sure the tracks are obviously 100% kind of thing, and want to make sure that it's properly fueled and stuff like that, go, all right, that's, that's good, let's roll that back kind of thing, and then let's work on this one, right, and then do the same thing. And the idea for these shipping containers, I wonder if there's a better design than this. I think I just, uh, I think I just spitballed here. I think I just tried to take a look at uh, what other people have chosen for like the dimensions and such, and that's pretty much what I ran with. So this is a door that's open, by the way. 
it's a very bad representation of it, but hey, it, it kind of works. So like this is where I threw the enchanting table. Now this does go up to 30, as you'll be able to see, it does go up to 30. But again, the idea for this area in particular is that uh, like all the vanilla, like Minecraft only kind of things, like nothing real world, like no computers, no uh, like uh, no scientific stuff is like in here kind of thing, right? And then here's all the nether warts and stuff. I forgot about that. And then here's all the uh, alchemy stuff that's in here. Uh, I actually have to fill this up with water so that we can actually do alchemy stuff in here. So we can right click here and we can do all the alchemy stuff and we can right click out. No worries. And here's the forge thing. I don't know. I like the forge. I think it's just the color palette that I just need to change a little bit like over here. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a, a few looks here and there and seeing if I can do any changes in here. I kind of don't want to throw everything in the storage area that's like over here or over here kind of thing. I kind of want to take at least a little bit of inspiration to how I have, uh, what was, is it Rosaria base that had it? Or is it uh, Arcanix that has it where I have sort of like a, like an integrated storage in the room kind of thing, right? So like I would have, no, it, it is a uh, Rosaria base. So it's in the upper area. So like I have like, let's say this will have like some iron, some diamonds and all that stuff. So I could, so I could do some things like with, uh, with this area kind of thing. And then uh, if I want to go and let's say use a ton of netherite for, w for whatever purpose I really want kind of thing, I would go, okay, hang on a second. I would have to go into like the big storages kind of thing. So like here or up here kind of thing and go all the way up and then be able to change it all and be able to like grab my netherite, go all the way down, come over here and go, wait, I have the netherite. Okay, hang on a second and then do whatever I need to do and then go, here you go. Here's your netherite chest plate. I don't know. I also need to replace the armor stands. But I want to try seeing if I could do something with Amulet, though. That's going to be fun. I might just do it by hand, though. I think hand... Hand would be the best, but all the ones that have, like, glass with, like, up there kind of thing... It's not going to be, like, the most, like, easy thing to do. And the other thing that I have to fix is... uh, Well, not really fix. This is more so just, like just to have them. So right now, these ships, you don't have a, an available way of getting across, right? And that's not good. You don't you don't want that. You want to be able to get from like point A to point B, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a, of a bridge. So the idea is that like, if I wanted to go to, let's say this is Razacraft, I believe. It is Razacraft. All right. So if I wanted to go on to Razacraft, what I would do is I would right-click this sign. Right now it doesn't do anything. I would right-click this sign, and then a little bridge will appear from here to over here. And because of how these... Because of how the crafts work, that bridge won't interfere with the actual area because how these actually do work and i'm going to use cube for this give me one second let me load up cube it's just so that you guys can see like the how the uh how the structure blocks work don't worry i'll change the I think I could do this, I think. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So there we go. Huh? Oh, wait. I think I have them hidden. I think you can hide them. Is 
Do these not do anything? Or is it just because the torch is interfering with it? Is it because I'm not opt? Is that why? Hang on. Is that actually the reason? There you go. Okay, so I need it to be opt for it to show me what it is. Okay, my bad. So I don't need to be in creative. Well, the creative mode, I, I know perfect works. So we're just going to do that. I'm just going to reverse this uh, after I've been showing you. So as you can see, though, these are the lines in which that from the structure block that's within the area. So these bo both of these creations. Have structure blocks within them. So all these do is that this is just like how to save it so that like you can actually save it within wherever you need to, right? So the idea is quite simple. Yeah, this is fixed. Anyway. So the idea for these two is actually quite simple though. So if I were to create that little bridge idea, which I think this is probably the worst spot for it, are they both identical in terms of their distance? 